What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book and title. Lessons from a non-custodial father. Amazon, Kindle, Create Space. We lack political savvy. The black lack of political savvy. You know, for years, I never understood this. You know, we have, we do a lot of good things. But one of the things that we kind of lack in as a collective group is political savvy. I'm, 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 I can't, and it's messed up that I say this because we were savvy enough to go the country into showing us racist tendencies by making, by uniting and voting uh, the current president, Barack Obama, in the office. But... We also have this lackadaisical type of attitude to politics when, and, and at the same time we want to fight racism, a systematic racism, but not necessarily fight it politically. I mean, where the systems are and the policies are put in place, which doesn't make sense. What I mean by that is this. One, we don't listen to the right people at the right time. What I mean by that is, in this generation, and I ain't gonna say just this generation, maybe from what I've seen in the last 20 years, we don't listen to the right people at the right time. You know, I can't, the presidential elections, Voting Democratic, I get it, you know, because the Republican nominees in the last 20 years weren't really good. They, I mean, they, they, compared to the Democratic nominees, the, I mean, I mean, the Republican nominee, the Democratic nominees put up a, a better argument than the Republican nominees in the last 20 years. It just is what it is. But that's not the point. The point is, when there were black people who say, look, man, listen to both sides, people dismissed them. When black people said, when there were black people who understood politics, talked about what agendas we need to be worried about and what agendas we need to push, we ignored them. And then when those chickens come home to roost, then everybody all of a sudden wakes up out of their stupor, like, yo, we need to, we need to do this, we need to do that, and, and, and without taking into consideration that this has already been spoken about. But, you know, but we ignore this. You know, people getting on Steve Harvey, which I don't understand because, i to be honest with y'all, um... When Steve Harvey told y'all to that Tavis Smiley and Cornell West was hating like eight years ago, a lot of y'all agree with that shit. So, <laughs> and eight years later, you're saying, "Damn, Tavis and Cornell was right. What were we thinking?" And now, Steve Harvey's a coon. Well, in some ways, we should be looked at as a community. As coons to people like Cornell West and Tavis Smiley who say who can say, I told y'all already. You just didn't listen. You know? There there were plenty of times where people didn't address the Congressional Black Caucus, people didn't address the black members of, of Congress. And and I understand some of this stuff has to do with propaganda and media because while uh, Barack Obama was in office. I'm sure it was kind of like a media blackout of black politicians. I, I mean, it, it makes sense. But at the same time, the political savvy looks so stupid because to tell a black community to stand down for eight years when we had a black president, 
And not everybody be so up in arms now that Donald Trump is about to get inaugurated in a couple of days. You should have had this savvy at least four years ago. I give you the first four that, you know, we don't know if he's going to be in office. Hey, you know, they trying to, you know, we got to rebuild the country and all that other stuff. I can understand that. But the last four, I don't understand it. Um... But now, people who, you know, we got to put pressure on Trump. Well, <laughs> you want to put pressure on a guy that everybody feels is a racist, but you left the guy of your race off the hook? That is not political savvy. You know? And the crazy part about it is other people were more savvy because... Um, Jewish people got reparations in America under the Obama administration. That's ridiculous. You know, the gay community got more rights than anybody else now under the Obama administration. And you can't quantify a gay vote. Just saying, being honest. So how does he? So how does he even know that they voted for him? But it's about the money. I understand that these black celebrities and black people and black organizations, on a low, they did uh, give Obama, the president, money. They did donate to the causes and everything. They they did go fund these dinners and policies and work out there with Acorn and all of that other stuff, right? But they didn't ask for anything. That's not political savvy. And then to turn around and say, and and to be so terrified at Donald Trump, I just don't, I don't get it. Like you showing up politically on on CP time, and I understand people got caught left with the left hook because they didn't think that white women would actually vote for racism over a woman making history, but, well, lesson learned. But on top of that, we have to rethink the idea of, you know, for, I mean, Malcolm X already talked about us as black people looking at celebrities as leaders. Like, he already said verbatim, like, comedians aren't leaders. You know, at the time, it was comedians weren't leaders, trumpet players weren't leaders, you know, uh, baseball players weren't leaders, but here we go. But we want to blame people. And in some ways, we got to blame ourselves. You know, same thing, what I mean by political savvy, People marched in Ferguson. People, you know, let their voices be heard. But we, but I don't think they showed up to vote to clean up the department and 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 put it in the hands of the community that protested, who were who was a majority black community at the time. That's not politically savvy. If you don't want shit to happen in a predominantly predominantly black neighborhood. Put the people in in positions of power who are predominantly black, as as in your voting block when you're on the local level. That's politi- politically savvy, because I can guarantee you, you might have to deal with a lot of shit outside your community, but if you put the power of your community in your community, you ain't gonna have to deal with all that shit when you at home. But we don't take this stuff into consideration, you know, and this is what I mean by our lack of political savvy makes us vulnerable to having this and athletes and crooked 
pastors to be our leaders. When when they when we actually have politicians who seem to be very hush. You know. And then you letting other entertainers talk about entertainers meeting with the the, the, the about to be with the president elect as if these those same entertainers hands are clean when they have they're part of the dysfunction in our community you know and I understand people become politically conscious I get that but I feel like at some point people are becoming selectively politically conscious because when they was doing they fuckery they wasn't conscious and they was grown as hell I'm, I'm just trying to make this money I'm just trying to do you know I mean it's ridiculous but that's another uh, another topic for another discussion uh, I'm not. What I'm saying at the end of the day is, if we know where we at right now, we need to listen to black people who know what they're talking about right now, and we need to take in their arguments for what we need to do and what we and what's coming in the future, and and look at both sides of the argument, and then formulate a direction, and stop, you know, um, going with charisma and swag over substance and then when the shit hit the fan try to backtrack to the substance like say that shit again that I ignored because I was doing the whipping the nay nay that's not gonna work I'm just saying peace